The term Olympus god typically refers to the gods and goddesses who resided on Mount Olympus, the mythical dwelling place of the Greek deities. These Olympian gods formed the principal pantheon of Greek mythology and held great influence and power over various aspects of the world and human affairs. The Olympian gods were believed to be the children of Kronos, Cronus, and Rhea, who were titans themselves. When Kronos was overthrown by his son Zeus, the Olympian gods came to prominence and became the rulers of the cosmos. They dwelled in a magnificent palace atop Mount Olympus, a towering peak reaching towards the heavens. The gods of Olympus were not depicted as infallible beings. They possessed human-like qualities, including emotions, desires, and flaws. They interacted with humans, sometimes helping them and other times causing mischief or punishment. The gods' actions and interventions often formed the basis of many myths and legends, serving as moral lessons and explanations for natural phenomena. The Olympian gods were revered and worshipped by the ancient Greeks through rituals, sacrifices, and the construction of temples and sanctuaries. They were believed to be both benevolent and capricious, capable of bestowing blessings or unleashing their wrath upon mortals. The tales of the Olympian gods have captivated countless generations, inspiring works of art, literature, and philosophical musings throughout history. Their stories continue to resonate in modern culture, reminding us of the intricate and fascinating world of Greek mythology. Zeus is one of the most prominent and influential figures in Greek mythology. As the king of the gods and ruler of Mount Olympus, he holds a central role in the pantheon of deities. Zeus is associated with various domains and attributes, including kingship, thunder, lightning, justice, and order. According to Greek mythology, Zeus is the son of Kronos and Rhea. He was born in secret and protected from his father, who feared that one of his children would overthrow him, just as Kronos had overthrown his own father. Zeus eventually challenged and defeated Kronos, leading to the establishment of the Olympian gods as the new ruling power. Zeus is often depicted as a mature and powerful figure, typically shown with a regal appearance, a full beard, and a lightning bolt in his hand. He is known for his role as the wielder of thunderbolts, which he uses to maintain order and punish those who defy him. As the ruler of the gods, Zeus has supreme authority over both gods and mortals, and he serves as the ultimate arbiter of justice. Zeus is also renowned for his numerous love affairs and amorous escapades, resulting in the birth of many demigods and legendary heroes. His most well-known consort is Hera, who is also his sister and wife. However, Zeus's infidelity often caused strife and conflicts among the gods and led to numerous myths and legends. In addition to his role as the king of the gods, Zeus is associated with various aspects of nature and the world. He is the god of the sky and weather, and his control over thunder and lightning symbolizes his power and authority. Zeus is also connected to the concept of hospitality and protection of guests, an important virtue in Greek society. Zeus appears in numerous myths and stories, playing a pivotal role in the outcome of many epic adventures. He is often portrayed as wise, cunning, and unpredictable, using his immense power and knowledge to influence events and shape the destiny of both gods and mortals. Overall, Zeus represents the archetype of a powerful and just ruler, embodying the ideals of leadership, order, and the divine power of the heavens. His influence extends beyond the realm of mythology and continues to be recognized as a symbol of authority and divine governance. Hera is a prominent figure in Greek mythology and the queen of the gods. As the wife and sister of Zeus, she holds a significant position in the pantheon and plays a crucial role in many myths and legends. Hera is often depicted as a regal and majestic goddess, symbolizing the ideals of marriage, family, and femininity. She is associated with childbirth, matrimony, and the protection of married women. 
Hera is known for her beauty and elegance, often portrayed wearing a crown and carrying a scepter or pomegranate, symbols of her authority and fertility. Despite her important role as the queen of the gods, Hera's relationship with Zeus is fraught with conflict and jealousy. Zeus's numerous affairs and illegitimate children provoke her anger, and she is often depicted as a vengeful and jealous wife. Hera is known for her wrathful nature, punishing both Zeus's lovers and their offspring. Her role as the goddess of marriage and fidelity contributes to her resentment of Zeus's infidelity. Hera is associated with various myths and legends in which she plays a central role. She is involved in the story of the twelve labors of Heracles, Hercules, as she despises him due to his status as an illegitimate child of Zeus. Hera often plots against Heracles and tries to hinder his heroic exploits. Despite her negative portrayal in some myths, Hera also embodies positive qualities. She is a powerful goddess who upholds the sanctity of marriage and family, and she is often depicted as a wise and just deity. Hera is revered by married women, who seek her protection and guidance in their unions. In addition to her role as the wife of Zeus, Hera is the mother of several deities, including Ares, god of war, Hebe, goddess of youth, and Ilithia, goddess of childbirth. She is also associated with the peacock, which is considered her sacred animal. Overall, Hera represents the archetype of a powerful and complex goddess, embodying both the virtues and vices associated with marriage and family. Her influence extends beyond her role as Zeus's consort, and she remains an important deity in Greek mythology, symbolizing the various aspects of womanhood and the complexities of human relationships. Poseidon is one of the prominent gods in Greek mythology, known as the ruler of the seas, oceans, and all bodies of water. As the brother of Zeus and Hades, he is part of the powerful triad of Olympian gods. Poseidon is often depicted as a robust and bearded figure, wielding a trident, which is his iconic symbol. The trident represents his authority and control over the waters. With a single strike of his trident, he can create storms, stir up earthquakes, and cause tumultuous waves. He is known as the god who shapes the coastlines and determines the fate of sailors and ships. As a deity associated with the sea, Poseidon's influence extends to maritime activities such as fishing, sailing, and navigation. Sailors and seafarers often sought his favor and protection, offering sacrifices and prayers before embarking on their journeys. However, Poseidon's temperament is often unpredictable, and he can be both benevolent and wrathful, depending on how he is approached. One of the most famous myths involving Poseidon is his rivalry with the goddess Athena for patronage over Athens. Poseidon claimed the city by striking his trident into the ground, creating a saltwater spring. Athena, in turn, presented the city with an olive tree, which was deemed more valuable and useful. Ultimately, Athena was chosen as the patron goddess of Athens, but Poseidon's influence remained strong, particularly in the city's maritime affairs. Poseidon's realm also extends beneath the seas, where he is associated with various creatures and beings. He is often depicted riding a chariot pulled by magnificent seahorses or accompanied by sea creatures, such as dolphins and mythical sea monsters. While Poseidon is primarily known for his connection to the seas, he is also associated with freshwater sources, such as rivers and springs. In some regions, he was worshipped as a god of fertility, as water was essential for the growth of crops and sustaining life. In Greek literature and epic poems, Poseidon appears in various stories, such as his involvement in the Trojan War and his interactions with heroes like Odysseus. He is depicted as a powerful and sometimes capricious deity, who punishes those who offend him and rewards those who honor him. In summary, Poseidon is the god of the seas, oceans, and water in Greek mythology. His authority over the waters, ability to create storms, and influence on maritime activities make him a significant figure in Greek religion and culture. 
Whether revered as a protector or feared as a tempestuous force, Poseidon's power and presence leave an indelible mark on the mythological landscape. Demeter is a prominent goddess in Greek mythology, known as the goddess of agriculture, fertility, and the harvest. She is the daughter of Cronus and Rhea, and the sister of Zeus, Hades, Hera, Poseidon, and Hestia. Demeter is often depicted as a mature and nurturing figure, carrying a sheaf of wheat or holding a cornucopia filled with abundant harvest. She is associated with the bountiful earth and the cycles of nature, playing a crucial role in ensuring the fertility of the land and the success of agricultural endeavors. One of the most well-known myths involving Demeter is the story of her daughter, Persephone. According to the myth, Persephone was abducted by Hades and taken to the underworld. In her grief and anger, Demeter caused a great famine on earth, refusing to let anything grow until her daughter was returned to her. Eventually, a compromise was reached, allowing Persephone to spend part of the year in the underworld and part of the year with Demeter on Earth. This myth is often seen as an explanation for the changing seasons, with Demeter's sorrow during Persephone's absence leading to winter and her joy upon her return bringing forth spring and summer. As the goddess of agriculture, Demeter was worshipped in ancient Greece through various rituals and festivals. The most famous festival dedicated to her was the Eleusinian Mysteries, held in Eleusis near Athens. These secretive ceremonies were believed to offer initiates a glimpse into the mysteries of life, death, and the cycle of rebirth. Demeter's influence extended beyond agriculture, as she was also associated with motherhood and the nurturing aspect of femininity. She was often invoked by women seeking fertility, safe childbirth, and the protection of their children. In some regions, she was worshipped as a mother goddess, emphasizing her role as a divine nurturer. In art, Demeter is portrayed as a serene and regal figure, often depicted holding wheat or a torch. She is sometimes accompanied by symbols of abundance, such as cornucopia, fruits, and flowers. Demeter's role in Greek mythology and religion highlights the importance of the agricultural cycle and the reliance of ancient societies on the Earth's fertility. Her story reflects the deep connection between humans and nature, as well as the significance of the harvest for sustaining life. Athena is one of the most prominent goddesses in Greek mythology, known as the goddess of wisdom, courage, strategic warfare, and handicrafts. She is also associated with justice, civilization, and the arts. Athena is the daughter of Zeus, the king of the gods, and was born fully grown and fully armored from Zeus' head. Athena is often depicted as a wise and strategic deity, represented with a helmet and shield, and sometimes holding a spear or aegis, a protective cloak. She is known for her keen intellect, strategic thinking, and practical wisdom. Unlike many other gods and goddesses, Athena did not succumb to impulsive emotions but relied on her wisdom and logic to make decisions. Athena played a significant role in Greek mythology and was highly revered in ancient Greece. She was a patron of heroes and aided them in their quests and battles. She was a great warrior herself, known for her strategic prowess and skill in battle. Athena is most notably associated with the city of Athens, which was named after her, and she served as its guardian and protector. The Parthenon, the iconic temple in Athens dedicated to Athena, stands as a testament to her importance in the city's culture and religious practices. Athena is also known for her involvement in the arts and crafts, particularly weaving and pottery. She is often associated with creative endeavors and is credited with inventing various tools and technologies that benefited humanity. She is considered the patron goddess of craftspeople and artisans. Athena's wisdom and intellect were highly respected by the other gods and goddesses, and she often served as a mediator and voice of reason in their disputes. Her counsel and guidance were sought by both mortals and deities alike. 
In addition to her strategic and intellectual qualities, Athena was also associated with justice and fairness. She was seen as a defender of the righteous and a punisher of the wicked. Athena's role as a goddess of justice and law is reflected in her association with courts and legal proceedings. Athena's symbol is the owl, representing wisdom and knowledge. She is also associated with the olive tree, which was believed to have been created by her as a gift to humanity. Overall, Athena embodies the ideal of wisdom, courage, and strategic thinking. She represents the pursuit of knowledge, justice, and civilization, making her a beloved and respected figure in Greek mythology and an enduring symbol of wisdom and strength. Apollo is one of the most significant and multifaceted deities in Greek mythology. He is known as the god of the sun, light, music, prophecy, healing, and archery. Apollo is the son of Zeus and Leto, and he is often depicted as a youthful and handsome god. As the god of the sun, Apollo brings light and warmth to the world. He is associated with the sun's radiant rays and is considered the embodiment of light itself. Apollo is also closely linked to the concept of harmony, order, and balance. In this sense, he represents the ideal of moderation and self-control. Apollo is renowned for his musical talents and is often depicted holding a lyre, a stringed instrument similar to a small harp. He is the patron of music, poetry, and the arts. Apollo's music is said to have the power to heal and soothe both humans and gods. He is also associated with the Muses, the goddesses who inspire creativity and artistic endeavors. Apollo is known as the god of prophecy and is associated with oracles. The most famous oracle dedicated to him was the Oracle of Delphi, where priestesses would enter a trance-like state and deliver cryptic messages from Apollo to seekers who came seeking guidance. Apollo's prophecies were highly regarded and influenced important decisions in Greek society. In addition to his divine domains, Apollo is also a skilled archer. He is often depicted with a bow and arrows, representing his precision and deadly aim. As a god of archery, Apollo is associated with hunting and is credited with teaching humans the art of hunting. Apollo's appearance is often described as youthful and radiant. He is depicted with golden hair and a handsome face. He is usually depicted wearing a laurel wreath, which is a symbol of victory and honor. Apollo's complex character is not without flaws. He is known for his occasional fits of anger and pride, and he has been portrayed as both a vengeful and a benevolent god in different myths and stories. Overall, Apollo represents a diverse range of qualities and aspects of human life including light, music, healing, prophecy, and beauty. He embodies the pursuit of knowledge, artistic expression, and the quest for harmony and balance. Apollo's influence extends beyond the realm of mythology and continues to inspire artists, musicians, and seekers of knowledge to this day. Artemis is a prominent goddess in Greek mythology and is known as the goddess of the hunt, the wilderness, and the moon. She is the daughter of Zeus and Leto and the twin sister of Apollo. Artemis is often depicted as a youthful and athletic goddess, carrying a bow and arrows and accompanied by hunting dogs or deer. Artemis is primarily associated with the hunt and is considered the protector of wild animals and the forests. She is a skilled huntress, both with her bow and in her ability to navigate and survive in the wilderness. Artemis is often portrayed as a fierce and independent goddess, embodying the spirit of the untamed wilderness. As the goddess of the moon, Artemis is associated with its silver light and its cycles. She is sometimes depicted with a crescent moon on her forehead. In this aspect, she is connected to feminine energy, fertility, and childbirth. Artemis is also known as a patron of young girls and women, protecting them during childbirth and ensuring their well-being. 
Artemis is known for her vow of eternal chastity and her commitment to remaining a virgin. She is often portrayed as a sworn protector of maidenhood and purity. As a result, she is associated with strong, independent women and is seen as a symbol of female empowerment. Artemis is closely linked to her sacred animals, including deer, bears, and hunting dogs. She is often depicted with a group of nymphs, known as the Huntresses of Artemis, who accompany her on her hunts and assist her in her divine tasks. In mythology, Artemis is also associated with various stories and legends. She is known for her role in the myth of Actaeon, where she transforms a hunter into a stag after he accidentally sees her bathing. She is also involved in the myth of Orion, a skilled hunter who becomes her companion in the stars after his death. Artemis' character is depicted as strong-willed, independent, and protective. She is both a fierce and nurturing goddess, embodying the duality of nature and representing the balance between the wild and the civilized. Overall, Artemis is a revered figure in Greek mythology, representing the untamed spirit of the wilderness, the power of the moon, and the strength and independence of women. Her influence extends beyond the realm of mythology and continues to inspire reverence for nature, female empowerment, and the pursuit of individual freedom. Ares is a prominent figure in Greek mythology and is known as the god of war and violence. He is the son of Zeus and Hera and is often depicted as a fierce and bloodthirsty warrior. Ares represents the raw and brutal aspects of warfare, embodying the chaos and destruction that comes with battle. In Greek mythology, Ares is characterized as a powerful and fearsome deity who revels in the chaos and carnage of war. He is typically depicted wearing armor and carrying weapons such as a spear or sword. Ares is known for his hot temper and aggressive nature, always seeking the thrill of battle and the glory of victory. Unlike some of the other gods and goddesses, Ares does not possess the wisdom or strategic prowess associated with warfare. He is driven by his instinct for violence and conquest, often engaging in reckless and impulsive behavior on the battlefield. Ares is revered as a formidable warrior, but his impetuous nature and lack of discipline often lead to defeat and failure. Ares is not highly regarded among the other gods and is often depicted as a disruptive and disliked figure. He is frequently at odds with Athena, the goddess of wisdom and strategic warfare, who represents the more disciplined and tactical aspects of battle. Ares' impulsive and reckless behavior is contrasted with Athena's strategic planning and intelligent warfare. Although Ares is primarily associated with the destructive aspects of war, he is also believed to have a role in protecting soldiers and warriors. He is sometimes invoked for courage and strength on the battlefield, and his presence is believed to inspire warriors to fight fiercely and fearlessly. Ares' influence extends beyond the realm of warfare, as he is also associated with violence and aggression in general. He is often portrayed as a symbol of the destructive power of anger and the chaos that ensues when conflicts escalate out of control. In Greek mythology, Ares is involved in various stories and legends. He plays a role in the Trojan War, siding with the Trojans and supporting their efforts against the Greeks. Ares is known for his love affair with Aphrodite, the goddess of love, and their relationship is often portrayed as passionate and tumultuous. Overall, Ares represents the brutal and chaotic nature of war. He embodies the destructive power of violence and serves as a reminder of the consequences of uncontrolled aggression. While he is not highly revered like some of the other gods and goddesses, Ares serves as a cautionary figure, urging mortals to consider the costs and repercussions of engaging in warfare. Aphrodite is one of the most famous and influential goddesses in Greek mythology. She is the goddess of love, beauty, desire, and fertility. Born from the sea foam after the castration of Uranus, 
Aphrodite is often associated with the sea and is sometimes referred to as the foam-born goddess. Aphrodite is typically depicted as an incredibly beautiful and seductive goddess. She is described as having golden hair, enchanting eyes, and a radiant smile. Her beauty is so captivating that it can arouse desire and passion in both gods and mortals. As the goddess of love, Aphrodite presides over romantic and sexual love, as well as the various aspects of desire and attraction. She has the power to inspire love and passion in others, and she often acts as a matchmaker, bringing lovers together or causing conflicts and affairs. Aphrodite is married to Hephaestus, the god of fire and craftsmanship, but she is notorious for her numerous love affairs outside of her marriage. She is frequently depicted in the company of various gods, heroes, and mortals with whom she engages in passionate relationships. Her most famous love affair is with Ares, the god of war, with whom she has several children. In addition to her role as the goddess of love, Aphrodite is also associated with beauty, fertility, and abundance. She is believed to bring blessings to marriages and help couples conceive children. Aphrodite is often depicted with symbols of fertility, such as roses, myrtle, and doves. Aphrodite's influence extends beyond romantic love and desire. She is also associated with the power of persuasion and the ability to influence others. Her charm and allure make her a persuasive figure, capable of swaying opinions and inspiring devotion. The worship of Aphrodite was widespread in ancient Greece, and she had numerous temples and cults dedicated to her. People sought her favor and invoked her name for assistance in matters of love, beauty, and fertility. Aphrodite's cults often involved rituals and ceremonies celebrating her powers and offering sacrifices in her honor. Overall, Aphrodite represents the powerful force of love and desire in human life. Her beauty, charm, and ability to inspire passion make her a captivating and influential figure. While she can bring joy and happiness through love, Aphrodite's influence can also lead to conflicts, jealousy, and unrequited desires. She embodies the complex and sometimes tumultuous nature of human relationships and the profound impact of love in our lives. Hephaestus, also known as Vulcan in Roman mythology, is the Greek god of fire, metalworking, and craftsmanship. He is one of the Olympian gods and the son of Zeus and Hera. Hephaestus is often depicted as a skilled blacksmith and is associated with forging weapons, tools, and various creations. Despite his divine status, Hephaestus is often portrayed as physically weak and impaired. According to myth, he was born with a physical deformity and was rejected by his mother Hera, who threw him off Mount Olympus. He fell for a whole day and night before finally landing on the island of Lemnos, where he was raised by nymphs. Hephaestus grew up to become a master craftsman and artisan. He built his own workshop beneath a volcano, where he crafted intricate and beautiful objects using fire and metal. He was skilled in the art of blacksmithing, working with bronze, iron, and precious metals. Hephaestus created magnificent armor, weapons, and jewelry for the gods and heroes of Greek mythology. In addition to his craftsmanship, Hephaestus is known for his inventions and technological creations. He is credited with designing and building various mechanical devices and contraptions, including the automatons that served as his helpers in his workshop. One of his most famous creations is the golden robotic maidservant named Talos. Hephaestus is also associated with volcanoes and the transformative power of fire. As the god of fire, he is responsible for the eruption and activity of volcanoes. In some myths, he is said to have a forge beneath Mount Etna in Sicily, from where he unleashes his fiery powers. Hephaestus is married to Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. Despite his physical disabilities, Hephaestus won the favor of Aphrodite, and they became a divine couple. However, Aphrodite's infidelity with Ares, the god of war, 
is well known, and Hephaestus often catches them in compromising situations. Nevertheless, Hephaestus remains a loyal and forgiving husband, focusing on his craftsmanship and inventions. In Greek mythology, Hephaestus is highly respected by the gods for his skills and ingenuity. He is often sought after to create powerful weapons, including the thunderbolts of Zeus. He is also a patron of blacksmiths, craftsmen, and artisans. Hephaestus embodies the concept of using skill and creativity to transform raw materials into objects of great value and beauty. His story represents the triumph of intellect and craftsmanship over physical limitations. Hephaestus serves as a reminder that even those who are considered outsiders or physically different can contribute great things to society through their unique talents and abilities. Hermes, known as Mercury in Roman mythology, is the Greek god of commerce, travel, communication, and boundaries. He is one of the twelve Olympian gods and the son of Zeus and the nymph Maia. Hermes is often depicted as a youthful and athletic god, known for his speed and agility. Hermes is primarily associated with the role of a messenger and the god of communication. He is portrayed as a swift and nimble messenger who travels between the realms of gods and humans, delivering messages and guiding souls to the underworld. Hermes is known for wearing winged sandals and a winged hat, symbolizing his ability to move swiftly between different worlds. In addition to his role as a messenger, Hermes is also the patron of travelers and merchants. He protects those on journeys, ensuring safe passage and facilitating smooth transitions. As the god of commerce, he oversees trade, business, and financial matters. Merchants and traders often offered sacrifices to Hermes for success in their endeavors. Hermes is credited with inventing various forms of communication and language. He is said to have created the alphabet and taught humanity how to write. In ancient Greece, he was revered as the god of eloquence, persuasion, and clever speech. He was also associated with diplomacy and negotiation, as he possessed the ability to mediate and reconcile conflicts. In mythology, Hermes is known for his mischievous nature and quick wit. He is often depicted as a trickster who enjoys playing pranks on both gods and mortals. One of his famous exploits includes stealing Apollo's cattle shortly after his birth. Hermes cleverly concealed his tracks by wearing the cattle's hooves backward, fooling Apollo. This cunning and resourcefulness are characteristic of Hermes' personality. Hermes is also associated with guiding souls to the afterlife. He serves as a psychopomp, leading the souls of the deceased to the realm of the dead. His role as a guide to the underworld further emphasizes his connection with transitions and boundaries. In art, Hermes is commonly depicted with his herald staff called the Caduceus, which features two entwined serpents. This staff is a symbol of commerce and negotiation. He is often shown with a satchel or a bag slung across his shoulder, representing his role as a messenger carrying important messages. Hermes' multifaceted nature as a messenger, traveler, communicator, and boundary crosser makes him a significant figure in Greek mythology. He embodies the importance of effective communication, adaptability, and quick thinking. Hermes teaches us the value of embracing change, facilitating connections, and finding creative solutions to problems. Hestia, also known as Vesta in Roman mythology, is the Greek goddess of the hearth, home, and domestic life. She is one of the twelve Olympian gods and is known for her gentle and nurturing nature. Hestia is often depicted as a modest and serene goddess, radiating warmth and hospitality. As the goddess of the hearth, Hestia symbolizes the center of the home, 
where the fire burns and provides warmth and sustenance. In ancient Greek households, the hearth was considered the sacred focal point of family life. Hestia was honored at the hearth with daily offerings and prayers, ensuring the well-being and harmony of the household. Hestia is associated with the concepts of home, family, and community. She represents the importance of maintaining a peaceful and harmonious domestic environment. Hestia's presence brings a sense of stability, comfort, and security to the home. She embodies the values of hospitality, unity, and the sacred bonds of kinship. Unlike other gods and goddesses, Hestia is depicted as a virgin goddess, representing purity and devotion. She chose to remain unmarried and dedicated herself entirely to her role as the guardian of the hearth. Hestia's commitment to her sacred duty made her highly revered by both gods and mortals. In Greek mythology, Hestia is known for her gentle and peaceful nature. She avoids conflicts and disputes, preferring a tranquil and harmonious existence. Her calm presence helps to foster a sense of unity and cooperation within families and communities. Hestia's role extended beyond the household hearth. She was also honored in public hearths and communal spaces such as temples, altars, and public buildings. In these spaces, Hestia's sacred flame was kept burning as a symbol of the eternal flame of civilization and communal well-being. Hestia's importance is reflected in the religious practices of ancient Greece. She was always the first to receive offerings during rituals and prayers, symbolizing her central role in the lives of mortals. Her presence was invoked at the beginning and end of all important gatherings and events, emphasizing the significance of her blessings and protection. Though Hestia may not be as prominent in mythological stories as some other gods and goddesses, her influence in daily life and the sanctity she brought to the hearth and home cannot be underestimated. Her presence reminds us of the importance of creating a nurturing and harmonious environment within our homes, where we can find solace, security, and a sense of belonging. Hestia's gentle and comforting energy serves as a reminder to cultivate warmth, hospitality, and to honor the sacred bonds of family and community. Dionysus, also known as Bacchus in Roman mythology, is the Greek god of wine, fertility, and revelry. He is associated with joy, ecstasy, and the celebration of life. Dionysus is often depicted as a youthful and charismatic figure, embodying the spirit of merriment and liberation. Dionysus is the son of Zeus, the king of the gods, and the mortal woman Semele. He is known for his extraordinary birth, as Zeus saved him from the womb of his mother and sewed him into his own thigh until he was ready to be born. This unique origin story symbolizes the divine nature of Dionysus and his close connection to his father Zeus. As the god of wine, Dionysus represents the transformative power of intoxication and ecstasy. Wine was seen as a sacred drink associated with divine inspiration and spiritual liberation. Dionysus is often depicted carrying a thyrsus, a staff topped with a pine cone and adorned with ivy leaves, which symbolizes his connection to the vineyards and the transformative power of wine. Dionysus is also associated with theater and dramatic arts. He is regarded as the patron god of theater, inspiring creativity, artistic expression, and the release of emotions through performance. The ancient Greek theater festivals, known as the Dionysia, were dedicated to him, and plays were performed in his honor. Dionysus is depicted as a dynamic and charismatic figure, often surrounded by a retinue of menads, female devotees who engage in ecstatic rituals and wild dances in his honor. He is known for his ability to inspire ecstasy, liberation, and a state of divine intoxication among his followers. In mythology, Dionysus is depicted as a traveler, moving from place to place, spreading his teachings and celebrating life. He is associated with the rebirth of nature, particularly the blossoming of vines and the harvest of grapes. As such, he is linked to the cycles of life, death, 
and rebirth, symbolizing the ever-changing and cyclical nature of existence. Dionysus represents the pursuit of pleasure, freedom, and the enjoyment of life's abundant gifts. He encourages individuals to embrace their desires and celebrate the richness of the sensory world. However, he also embodies the potential dangers of excess and the loss of control that can come with indulgence. The worship of Dionysus was a significant aspect of ancient Greek culture, particularly in the form of the Dionysian mysteries, secret of rituals held in his honor. These rituals were intended to bring about a union with the divine, offering participants a transformative and transcendent experience. Overall, Dionysus embodies the dualities of life joy and sorrow, ecstasy and madness, creativity and destruction. He encourages individuals to embrace their primal instincts, celebrate the beauty of the world, and find liberation in the pursuit of pleasure. Dionysus reminds us of the importance of balance, self-expression, and the joy of living in the present moment.